I am good looking. It's a. You ever heard the term stud muffin? Yeah. Um, that they she posted that picture yesterday. Abby, who's our social media marketing guru. Yes. And uh, I couldn't believe how old that picture was. You know. Us. You know. It's we're on. We're on live right now. Oh no, you're kidding. No. Oh my god! I mean, I, you were talking about gurus and stud muffins. Oh I didn't my know god! If you knew that was being recorded. I didn't. Know. Well, go ahead. You're no, finishing your thought now. What are you no, talking about? I'm, there I'm was. So, she did post a, an I'm early so picture. I'm so embarrassed. But people seem to like that picture, and uh, we. Uh, you didn't even look like yourself. I did. <laughs> no, like that's why I liked it. It didn't like, even look well, like. Well, no. You. I mean, you've grown up. Well, you're a grown man now. Well, that's what some people think. <laughs> That, that was an early picture she posted, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Um, I was just a pup. Oh. All right. I didn't know it was on. You ready to go? Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Will Reed. And I'm Langdon Reed. And we are Wilson and the Fairchild. And we are back in the truck with you. Uh, different than Hardcastle and McCormick. Oh, I love that show. That was a show. What was that 80s? car they drove? Was oh. it a... No, it was like a... Was it a Ferrari? Or not a Ferrari. It was I don't a, remember. No, Magnum drove a Ferrari. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, I went back to 1983 mm -hmm. there for a minute. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks for being back in the truck with us. Yep. And uh, all the comments that you all always say to us on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Um, so, it's a little prettier this time. Uh, it is. We got some pretty was weather. Last, and plus, we're yeah. in the daytime. It's not in the oh, dark. Oh, yeah. Last, last week's episode was it was a little dark. I, uh, it was, it was an it, evening. And I'm sorry. That had to do with my work schedule, but I did. Uh, it's all him. I freed up a lot of day daylight hours now, so we can do it whenever you want to. Oh, well, good. You're not as you're not working as much then as you have been. No, I'm not working at all. Do you mean it's you're done? Well, what about the barnyard babysitting? Sold it. You're, you're done. Yep. I he sold, sold it. it. It got hot. It got hot, and I, I couldn't keep up with it. And uh, wow. there was a large corporation. But so what happened was, remember last week we talked about Rolling. I was going to call corporate for you. Yes. For your overhang extensions. Right. Okay. Well, I ended up calling corporate. Yeah. And they knew about my barnyard babysitting, so I sold my business to corporate. So did I'm you, done. I got you, out. Did y'all talk about my overhang extensions business you know, at all? You know, we never got around to that. <laughs> that was the purpose of the call. I, I know that. For me. I know that. I know that. But So you never even brought it up. You just you just took that. I didn't have a chance. There. I got corporate on the phone and they said, are you barnyard babysitting? I was like, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> they knew. They knew immediately. That's incredible. I think they had tracked my phone or something. Yeah. And, uh. They just, they threw out a figure that I couldn't turn down. Oh, yeah? So I just, I sold them the whole franchise. Are you willing to share that figure with us today, or is that no? No. <laughs> no, but, but let's no. just say this. Yeah. I can buy all the Dunkin' <laughs> coffee I want forever. Forever? Yeah. From Barnyard Babies. It's a green arrow you can go. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking over here. I was, um, I was trying to think. So, again, sure. sorry corporate didn't work out for you. It did work out for me. I got plenty of time to do truck times. So maybe I need to talk to you now that you're the money man about mm -hmm. my overhang extensions. I guess I'm corporate now. <laughs> I guess. We, yeah. <laughs> Could I have a meeting sometime, man? Yeah, we'll, we'll get, I'll get, yeah, call my people and get a meeting. We'll, but that's, let's, let's do, let's just keep this. Let's do that. Wilson Fairchild. Oh, yeah, there's no reason to. In the truck. I'm with you. Music business. Hey, yeah. things are starting to, to break loose, hopefully, in 2021. Hopefully. You're talking music-wise. Music-wise, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're putting some dates together, yes. especially the late summer towards fall. Uh, people are ready. Yeah. looks like we might be going to some different States. Yes. Uh, I, no, we don't know particulars yet, but, um, I just want everybody to, just to hang on. Yes. So we're coming. Stay posted right here with us on Facebook. Cause, uh, this is where we'll keep you updated and let you know anything that's happening with us, uh, and our music dates yep. coming up. So, uh, what else going on? Anything? Um, man, I, I don't know. I was I was hoping hey, there would be an update. I brought something with me my... today. It's in the back seat. Can I get it? Sure. It's not another animal, is it? I thought, what are you doing with that? No. No. It's not an animal. It's not. Much. That's silly. I don't know why you'd say that. Should I be concerned? Hmm? No, don't be concerned. Just keep driving. All right, I'm driving. Wait a minute. I recognize that animal. That looks good. 
Careful. Careful, everybody. You remember what this is? I do. That there is a guitar. It is a guitar. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you brought that. Well, I just felt like uh, we weren't in the Blue Room, and we have gotten some requests to sing. I, I think some of the fans say, y'all are funny, but would y'all quit talking and sing sometime, you know? Right. So I thought this morning, maybe we could just sing them, sing them something that we know. <laughs> Man. One of ours, you know? I can, we can do that. Yeah. I'm um, uh, sorry you can't play, but somebody's got to drive. Somebody's got to negotiate the traffic out of here. Yeah. Uh, hey, show them that guitar again, because this is a, this is a cool thing. I'm going to put you on the spot here, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, that there, what kind of guitar is that? That is a Dobro guitar. Yes. Made by Dobro. Uh, um, and that has a really cool history to it as well. It really does. Can you share that with, uh, with the peoples? Uh, sure, I'd be glad to. So, when I was growing up, um, in Dad's closet in, off his office, uh -huh. and actually we, we refer to it as the magic closet because there's always amazing things that came out of that magic closet. Yeah. This is one of them. Okay. And I, is, is this the closet when he's sitting in his office and straight in the back? Uh -huh. I got it. I yeah. know where it is. And um, the magic so closet. <laughs> this, uh, when I, I, was, I was a kid, mm -hmm. this guitar was in there. Uh, it wasn't in a case either, though, which I always thought was strange. I noticed it didn't have a case here this morning. Well, it doesn't today. And okay. um, but then it had these really heavy strings on it, and it was kind of hard. It was hard to play. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, sometime, probably my teenage years, uh, Dad he he passed it on to me, mm -hmm. and that's when uh, I had some work done. We put some lighter strings on it, and it's a dobro guitar. It's got the coolest sound. <laughs> little resonator guitar yeah a little jerry kennedy tone oh, going yeah. on there you know he made the get the uh, dobro guitar famous <laughs> and jerry um, kennedy is the uh he's in the hall of fame yeah. musicians hall of fame uh-huh uh we call him big jerk he's a dear friend yeah. of the families of the Staller families he was their producer for uh oh more than 35 years on most of their projects right um and i mean he, this guy's i mean he, that Dobro guitar was on like Harbor Valley PTA. That's him. Yeah. Now, I mean, not this particular guitar, but Jerry playing his Dobro guitar. Yeah, but we and, fell in love with the sound of this type of guitar. Yeah. And all those early Staller records. Yeah. That's Jerry playing this kind of guitar. Yeah. But this one in particular, it's got a cool story. Yeah. So I said to Dad, I said, "Where'd you get that that guitar from?" He's like, "Ah, uh, you know," he said, "I think Carl Perkins gave me that guitar." That's pretty cool. I said you, what? You don't hear it often. So back in the uh, in the sixties, <clears throat> when the Statler brothers were tour touring with Johnny Cash, yes, so was Carl Perkins. Right. Um, they were all part of the Cash show, and they spent a lot of time together. They were all friends. They you know hung out together off the stage, and I think the way that Dad told me the story was they were at his house, and I don't know if Dobro had given it to Carl Perkins. I'm not sure, but he picked it up. Dad picked it up, and he said, Do "You like it?" And Dad said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, good. Take it with you." So Carl Perkins, <laughs> you're right. How cool! How come stuff like that doesn't, doesn't happen, happen to us? Well, I guess it does. I got this from one of the Statler brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so Carl Perkins gave it to Harold Reed. Harold Reed gives it to Will Reed, and here it is. And you're gonna give it to? Oh, okay. I, no, I, I, I'm, I'm I gonna thought gonna I saw it. a pattern there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Oh, you're gonna keep it. All yeah, right. that's the end of that story. Then it doesn't it doesn't get passed. Don't <laughs> I don't. I'm not planning on passing it. Uh, okay. Because uh, I don't think Carl or Dad either one played it very much. But right. here it is. Here it is. So I did find out this blonde colored uh, Dobro was made in California. They at some point in time in the I think late '60s sometime. Yep. Um, and you like. played this one on our CD, Songs Our Dad's Wrote. I did. Uh, and you played the Dobro guitar. You pulled the strings yep. on this very one. Uh, and that was the tip of the hat, again, back to JK, Mr. Jerry Kennedy. Exactly. Uh, let's do let's do something then. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. do something off that uh, that Songs Our Dad's Wrote <laughs> um, from that era. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. I really can't pick without you playing rhythm. I know, I know, I know. I am so essential. I don't know. It sounds pretty good, really. So essential. I, I guess, you know what? It's like I'm an essential guitar player, no. and you're non-essential. No, no, That's right why now. you're not playing. Right. Right? Exactly. It was in the high school yearbook, dated May of 95. I like this song. We were voted the couple most likely to survive. Even teachers never doubted we were more 
than just friends But your mama had some second thoughts back then But when you went off to nursing school I kept my job in town To show your folks that I was old enough to settle down and when you came home for holidays, we were happy without sin. But your mama had some second thoughts again. Does your mama know I'm rich and happy? Well, almost that is. Has she ever said that maybe she was wrong? All she ever really wanted was to have best in you. And that's all I ever really wanted to And that's all I ever really wanted to Should I pick? Sure! Since I can't play, I'll just provide a little good rhythm. How about that? Never think you're gonna wreck while we're trying to play a song. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Thanks to her, I'm uh, yeah, um, third verse. Yeah, third verse. I can't talk and sing anything at the same time. That's up my rhythm. See, um, thanks to her, it made me want to prove I could succeed. But thanks to her, I'll never have the one thing that I need. But if she reads the papers and remembers who I am She's probably having second thoughts again Does your mama know I'm rich and happy? Well, almost that is Has she ever said that maybe she was wrong? All she ever really wanted was to have the best in you and that's all I ever really wanted to And that's all I ever really wanted to Take us home That was me hitting the cymbal there at the end Um, on the drums I'm sorry Yeah That was fun. That was fun. All right, coming to a town near you. Hang on, Wilson Fairchild. We'll be there. So we just finished recording our virtual concert. It was good. Too. Our virtual concert. What are you doing? Mine does this cookie. What are you doing? I'm subscribing to our Facebook. So why? Because so you can watch our virtual concert. Oh, that's right. The virtual concert. I'm going right now. The only way you're going to be able to right right. right. you got to subscribe. I'm a subscriber. The button below. Yeah, it's easy. The button below. I just did it. You subscribe to the Wilson Fairchild page. Right. So you can exclusively see the concert that we just recorded. Yeah, it's just like a monthly fee, but, but it's yeah. you're going to get all kinds of behind the uh, curtain. All the concerts. Yeah, footage. you're going to be able to see up behind my curtain. If you if you subscribe, Wait a minute. right? Something like that. Subscribe, right? It's like seeing the wizard behind the the curtain. That's Sorry, what you're going to be able to see. I was hungry. If you subscribe, no, that's fine. And hey, also, that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> so weird. That's what I was going to say. Hey, here's what we're going to do right here. What's that? Cool. We're going to sign this set list. Yeah. The set list from the first virtual concert, and we'll send you a, a CD if and you share this. Post. That's easy too. You just click share. Click share. You even know how to do that. Click share with a chance to win the autographed set list and a CD. Yeah, and maybe we'll, we'll go around the house and find some other stuff to send you to. Absolutely. That's a uh, cookie. Do I? I don't. I don't this is have, the last one. Well, I don't have a cookie. Can I have some of that cookie? Mm. No. Subscribe first. Subscribe. The button below. Below. And okay. I get a cookie. Yep. Okay. Yep.